The town of Vršac in the northern Serbian province of Vojvodina is situated in the middle of one of the largest and most famous wine-growing regions in Serbia. The modern history of this town, situated near the border with Romania, begins in 1716, when Austrian Prince Orgen of Savoy, one of the most successful military commanders, banished the Ottoman Turks from these regions. Soon the region was to be populated by people from Germany, France, Italy and Spain, who were primarily engaged in wine growing. Many craftsmen and merchants from Serbia as well moved to Vršec, which was part of the Austrian Empire at the time. Near the old Serb town, a German settlement was formed. So towards the end of the 18th century, Vršec was a unique town as the Serbs and the Germans divided power there. It is from this period that edifices representing architectural gems of Vršec are descended. One of the oldest and the most beautiful is the Bishop's Palace, which was built upon permission of Empress Maria Theresa by Bishop Jovan Georgievich in 1759 as a residence of Banat Bishops of the Serbian Orthodox Church. The palace houses a chapel dedicated to the Congregation of the Holy Archangels, which boasts a miraculous icon of the Mother of God of Vinta and a Baroque iconostasis. This artifact is an atypical one, as it was made on the wall. The iconostasis and the icons were painted by Nikola Neskovic, who was the grandfather of famous Serbian playwright Jovan Steria Popovic. The iconostasis was made in the style of the Levantine Baroque, which was cherished at the Kiev Academy and which young Neskovic attended at the wish of Bishop Jovan Georgievich. The palace has 53 rooms. The ornaments in the rooms and on the facade date from 1911, when the edifice was renovated in the style of eclecticism, thus surpassing its original Baroque appearance in Simshashis. Each of the rooms is specific. One contains paintings of eight monasteries, of the Banat Eparchy, of the Serbian Orthodox Church, and icons painted by famous artists such as Uras Predic, Paja Jovanovic, and Stevan Aleksic. A unique icon is that called the Heavenly Jerusalem, which Andrea Dimitrievich, after visiting the Holy Land, ordered in Greece and presented to the palace as a gift. It consists of miniatures, so when one looks at them in a certain sequence, one is reading the Old and the New Testaments, from the Genesis to the Passion. The text is in Old Church Slavonic, Greek and Romanian, and by the way, it also documents the fact that until 1880, the Romanians used the Cyrillic script. The palace also houses the portraits of bishops that lived in Vršac and were buried in the nearby Orthodox Cathedral. In the Second World War, during the German occupation, the palace housed the headquarters of the Prince Eugen Division. After the war, the palace was nationalized and turned into orphanage. It was returned to the church thanks to Bishop Vissarion Kostic. Despite changing owners and purpose, many beautiful pieces of antique furniture have been preserved, mostly those belonging to the period of Venetian Baroque, which were the gifts of Doge's. Each room has a different furnace and all are magnificent, contributing to the beauty of the interior. The bishop's cabinet houses a furnace dating from 1911, designed in Art Nouveau style, a gift of the city of Budapest made of the famous Jolnai ceramics of Pech. The ceiling in the cabinet and also in the library and the drawing room will be repainted thanks to the fact that the original sketches have been preserved. The several thousand valuable and rare manuscripts include the Gospel in the Latin language, dating from the 14th century. The palace is surrounded with a beautiful park and an authentic fence in a Baroque combination of brick and cast iron. It is the seat of the Banat Eparchy of the Serbian Orthodox Church. It is a magnificent monument and it is not open to public.